now with that ABC News exclusive tech mogul John McAfee going one on one with our correspondent speaking out for the first time in four years about the 2012 murder of his neighbor in Belize and whether he was involved. ABC's Matt Gutman tracked him down and joins us now. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. Now, John McAfee is the guy who created the first antivirus program, and his name could be on your computer screens right now. Now, we got interested in him after his 2016 bid for president, wondering about the man who made a ton of money in Silicon Valley, lost it all, moved to Central America, got linked to murdering his neighbor, and when he got booted from Belize, he reinvented himself as a cybersecurity guru. There are many John McAfee's, the gazillionaire founder of McAfee Antivirus. It is the number one computer threat. The party animal. John? Huh? The libertarian presidential candidate. Stand with me to protect our freedom. And the man sought for questioning in the 2012 murder of his neighbor in Belize. But this morning, we scrape away to the unvarnished version. Sitting down with him in an exclusive interview about his life and alleged involvement in that murder. Did you order a hit on him? Of course not, please. In November 2012, Greg Fall, the neighbor, two doors down from McAfee's beachside compound, was found murdered. Fall's family said it happened the night after Fall allegedly poisoned McAfee's dogs. Authorities wanted McAfee for questioning, but McAfee wasn't interested. He melted away into the jungle, and we headed to Belize. When we say we're going to talk tomorrow, does that mean face to face? He then fled to Guatemala, where he sat, sort of, for an interview. After faking a heart attack, McAfee was finally deported back to the U.S. and to freedom, never charged with any crime in Belize. Now, four years later, McAfee granted me his first no-holds-barred interview. I flew to meet him in Tennessee, where he lives quietly with his new wife and a small arsenal. Is it a real gun, though, or is it like an air rifle? Believe me, it's a real gun. And his faithful bodyguard. Let me make this perfectly clear. I had nothing to do with the murder of Gregory Fall. You're asking the most ridiculous thing. Thought this was, is not, you have to admit, that it's, ridiculous. it's not ridiculous. It is. That your dogs, nine of your dogs, your beloved dogs are right. boys. That would make a man who loves animals yes. absolutely irate. Right. No. It would okay. be and if enough okay. to make now a man who loves that. his dogs willing to kill, this. some would Does say. This... When we tried to drill down more on Belize, McAfee got up. You're walking out on this. Yes, because you have not kept your more. There had been no preconditions to choice. the interview, and eventually he sat back down, ready to talk about McAfee 2.0. In this parody video from 2013, he disavowed the antivirus program that made him rich. The company's new owners called it ludicrous. Regardless, McAfee's become the prophet of digital doom, paid 25,000 bucks a pop to speak to groups like this, single-mindedly sounding the alarm about privacy. Our freedoms are being restricted, our security is being eroded, and we have no more privacy. If we lose privacy, we will lose civilization. Perhaps the only constant in his life? Are you a madman? Are you paranoid? Are you an entrepreneur? All of the above. Now, it's hard to square the versions of McAfee, the courtly Southern gentleman who's accused of murdering a neighbor. But I'll tell you this, he loves to put an arm around people and he is undoubtedly charming. But the truth with McAfee is very hard to pin down. Mm -hmm. He's just so slippery. And during the majority of the interview, he had an assault rifle? Yeah, it was a high-powered air rifle, rifle that shoots 9 millimeters, just like right, right there. there on the bar. Okay, talking. you got a lot to talk about tonight. And many more allegations New on this ones, 2020 fresh tonight. Ones. Okay, hey, Matt, thank you. And you can see more of Matt's interview on 2020 tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC.